On today's episode of Explaining It Like I'm 12, let's break down how your brakes actually break. When your car is moving, that means it has kinetic energy because it's in motion. In order to stop, you need to get rid of that energy. So when you're pressing on the brake pedal, you're using a mechanical force that applies the laws of Pascal's law, which states a pressure exerted in a confined fluid is exerted equally throughout all directions of the fluid. Thanks to Pascal's law, that pressure of you pressing on the brake pedal gets transported to hydraulic pressure throughout the brake fluid. That pressure pushes the pistons and the caliper against the brake pad, which then squeeze against the rotor. Now this is where friction takes over. So the frictional force that it takes to slow this down is how grippy your brake pads in times the force that it takes the caliper to push the pistons into these brake pads that push into the rotor. As the friction is helping slow down the rotor, this kinetic energy is now turning into thermal energy, aka heat. The rotor starts to act like a heat sink. It helps absorb all the heat and helps dissipate the heat into the air using these veins. So when the car stops, all that energy it had from being in motion doesn't just disappear. The brake friction uses work that turns that energy into heat, which is another fun law of physics. Energy can't just vanish. It has to be transferred into something else. Basically, every time you're braking, you're turning speed into heat, which is just science doing its thing.